Hello everyone and welcome back to another Halloween card video. This will be the last one for this year and I decided to go out with a bang with the Honey Bee Haunted House. Well it's the house builder with the Halloween add-on and um, it was a lot of fun to do. I had a lot of fun putting it together uh, but this is a time-consuming project. Um, I had an hour of film footage so I, uh, you know, edited, of course, and, and speeded it up four times to get it into a reasonable, uh, watchable length. But um, so it, to keep that in mind, it does take some time, but it is a lot of fun to do. It didn't really seem like it, it took an hour to do. Um, and I'm sorry for the light glare. I just I needed some extra light. It's been cloudy in North Texas lately, uh, so not a lot of uh, light coming in through the window. But uh, let's get back to this. Uh, so I'm using my Make Art Station to hold down the stencil. And I'm, I'm really liking this. I got this not too long ago. And, and I'm really liking this for holding down stencils versus, uh, you know, having to tape everything down and stuff. This is much quicker and easier to, to work with. And this is uh, this stencil is also a Honeybee product. It is salvaged brick. They've got a regular brick, but um, I just love the irregularity of the mortar pattern in this brick. And I thought it really lended well with the uh, Halloween theme. So I'm just using a variety of colors of Distress inks, and uh, it it kind of looks like a, a hot mess right now. But when you take the stencil off, you can really see the variation in the uh, colors just like a, a variation in colors of brick so I thought it it turned out really well and so I will definitely be using this again in the future probably on my gingerbread house because I did get the the gingerbread house add-on so that will definitely be a Christmas card coming up very soon so I wanted to add uh, some bricks to the little dormer and, and I will add bricks to the chimney as well. So this product project, uh, there's a lot of inking. I, I used a lot of different distress, regular distress inks. And on the inside, I used a couple of oxide inks. So uh, a lot of inking because it just really makes a difference in the, the pieces. Uh, now here I did screw up. I, <laughs> I ink the wrong side of the the roof and so I wondered I was like it's not really picking up the lines the embossed lines in the in the roof and then I realized I was inking the wrong side so I will go back and when I realize it here in a minute and and ink the correct side and it so it really brings out those embossed lines another way to bring out those embossed lines is to uh, ink up your die before you die cut and that will put ink down into the cracks and into the cracks only. And then you can just add around the edges later if you want to. I decided I wanted to tone down the, the mortar and the overall uh, look of the brick. So I just took some, I think it was uh, antique linen or something like that, and just went over all the, the bricks real lightly. So here I'm just marking the insides of my windows because I didn't want them to be bright white or anything. So I decided to give them, you know, like a glow of a light or something in there. So uh, I did kind of a, and I can't find my white eraser. So I used my mono sand eraser to uh, remove some of those uh, pencil marks. But anyway, so I used uh, wild honey and fossilized amber to give it a really grunge kind of, look for the inside of the house for my um card stocks i did use uh you know nina solar white of course for the white um i used simon says stamp ivory for the car uh the base of the house and i used i think fog for the gray and i used some simon says stamp black i think no, I just used the fog. Um, for the my black elements, which will be my bats and my steps to my house, I used the Tim Holtz metallic craft cardstock. And I used Simon Says Stamp Orange. And I used some Nina Desert Storm. 
So there's actually a lot of different products went in on, on this, but like I said, it was fun, fun to do. Uh, so if you've got the time, it's a, it's a great card to do. And it's definitely, uh, you know, it's probably too late to order and do one for this Halloween, but, you know, go ahead and order it and order your um, gingerbread house. And so you'll have the Halloween one for next year. Oh, here's where I go and ink up. And you can de already see the difference. You can see the lines and stuff uh, from before when I inked up the back side instead of the front side. So uh, today is like the first really, really, really cold day in North Texas. It is going to stay in the low 40s today. I think we're supposed to freeze tonight. And it is overcast and drizzly rain all day. And a north wind approximately 10 to 15 miles an hour. So, yeah, I think we skipped fall. We usually do not have a very long fall and go uh, straight to cold and nick. But, you know, we might get a couple more days of uh, fall weather. But, yeah. Usually it goes uh, goes cold pretty quick. Anyway, so we're moving our. I didn't like how I saw the that bright white on the side, so I just took some I black soot and just got into that crack, so you didn't see that white along the edge. I just uh, didn't like the way that looked. So the the brushes that I'm using, um, I just went onto Amazon. And I searched for oval makeup brushes. And you can get a set of 10, uh, all the different sizes and everything, for like 10 to 15 bucks on Amazon. And they work great. I, I don't have any of the, you know, picket fence ones or anything like that to compare them to, but I think they work fine. Um, here I decided just to pop up the steps with the Jerry's. Uh, adhesive foam strips. Uh, those are those really skinny ones, so they're good for little areas like this. Um, what you need out of the original house builder is obviously the shape, um, the overall, you know, big house shape, the steps, and the dormer, I think, are just the three things and the chimney four things that I used out of the original house builder and then everything else was in the Halloween add-on. And so here I was trying to do that and I was, just got out some of my punches. Um, the first one I got out was too big. I went and got a, I think a, a one inch or a three quarter inch and uh, punched out again and it was just right. And so I'm, but it was barely just right. So I'm just gonna add some scotch tape on the back here to hold that in place. And then I will just add some glue and actually no, I popped that up to give the that a little bit of dimension. I used some foam tape behind that to pop it up on the roof of that card. And we're getting close. Hang in there. <laughs> we still gotta make some glow in the dark ghost here in a minute. Okay, so what's coming up next will be some fall themed cards, um, Thanksgiving, you know, get thanks, you know, themed cards, uh, maybe some fall birthday cards. Um, we'll just do, you know, maybe, you know, four or five videos of that. And then we will start diving into Christmas cards and Christmas projects. I do have planned uh, some Christmas ornaments. And, uh, you know, obviously a bunch of cards because I, you know, I send out quite a few cards. Oh, here's a good little tip. You know, when you're putting glue on the little bitty skinny things, um, it's good to just tap it off onto a piece of trash paper. That way you don't have a bunch of glue that's going to uh, squish out on your card front or your project, you know, wherever it's at. So um, anyway, so we will have... Um, ornament projects. We might even have um, some shirt projects and, you know, definitely lots of cards and maybe a sign or something. Uh, glasses. We will do some Christmas glasses because in our neighborhood we have, we do a Christmas wine trail 
And so basically everybody just signs up to uh, give everybody wine and munchies. And we go from house to house, basically just sharing wine and showing off our Christmas decorations. So our house is house number one. And I do the glasses every year. Well, this is the second year. So I do the glasses um, and I etch them. So I pick up, make a design on Cricut Des Design Space and I cut a bunch of stencils. I think last year we had like 30 people and I think there's probably going to be more this year. And so um, cut the stencils and I just use the uh, etching cream stuff. And I etched the glasses and they came out really well last year. Everybody really dug them. And so I will have that as a project because I got to have those done by I think the first Saturday of December. So I got to get started on those pretty soon. And, but that's a lot of fun. And, uh, it's a, it's a good way for, you know, us to, you know, get our name out there for, our, you know, our winery that we're going to start building here real soon. So, um, okay. So back to the card for a second, these little pumpkins that the orange was so bright, it didn't really kind of go with the grunge of the rest of the card. So I just took some more distress ink and, and I just kind of rubbed some, uh, I think vintage, vintage photo or something right over the center of their faces, just to kind of grunge it up a little bit. And then I'm just going around the edges of the tombstone and the, the, the crosses and stuff just to uh, give them some dimension so they don't look so flat and uh, grunge them up a bit as well. And I'm going to take a white, uh, oh, and now I'm going to play with the ghost and make them glow in the dark. I took a piece of scrap paper and I put, I ran my dot runner over it and stuck them on. I should have stuck them on a little bit further into the, the piece because I did end up blowing them off with my uh, embossing gun. So, um, you know, that's a little hint there to, uh, if you use the, the dot runner to just fully put them on there. But anyway, as those, they're real small, so you want to hold them somehow that so you don't burn your fingers and you can't really, you know, put your tweezers on them or else you're going to have a spot that don't glow. So you got to kind of tape them down to something. And there's where I blew off the first ghost. And then I started blowing everything. And so it was a, it was a bit of a pain, but I did end up getting them all melted and everything was good. So we're, we're narrowing this down just a couple more minutes to go. Um, so here's where I take my white jelly roll pen and I'm going to write on my tombstones. I, I was looking for the other cross. I didn't see it on the laying on top of the house, but I did not let the distress ink um, dry long enough. And so it was still kind of damp. And so I had a hard time uh, writing on the tombstones, but I think it just kind of, you know, gave to the overall kind of grunge of it anyway. So I, I was okay with it. It looked, <coughs> it looked good. There's tons of layers to this card. I mean, shoot, we've got the house, we've got the fence, we've got the tree, we got the tombstone, we got the, <laughs> the pumpkins, so many layers. And I will come back and cut off um, some of these branches that are hanging out the, the most. I do leave a couple of the smaller ones. You know, I, I would just put this in a, in a larger envelope. Um, but cause I didn't want to cut all the branches off. I liked how they, some of them hung off just a little bit. And so I decided to, to just glue one of the, the bigger branches or I took a, a, I had a big one and a small one. I, I glued the small one on the front. I'm going to use the bigger one on the inside. And just so it was kind of like the tree hanging over the top of the house. I thought it was kind of cool. So I'll go inside all the windows with my nouveau glitter gloss uh, marker and then I take some Nubo copper penny crystal drops and I'm just going over the to create the nails the nail heads of the boards that board up the windows and the door I thought that was cute added just a little extra touch there and so um, here's where I'm showing how I did the, uh, the card base I just took uh, my cardstock folded it over and when I put the 
the outline, I just let that top just hang off just a little bit so it didn't cut. And so I just have a full card that way. And then I showed the inside of the card. I didn't film that. So I guess it probably really took over an hour to do this card. Here are some final looks of the card as well as some pictures of how the ghosts glow in the dark. I thank you for watching and we'll see you soon in the next video.